Welcome back to the Solving Equations video series. This is video three and we're looking at uh, a couple of special variations on two-step equations. Okay, special variation one. We have an equation with a long fraction line which makes a difference to our method slightly so let's check it out. We're asked to solve k minus two all over five. Notice the long fraction line there. That makes a difference to uh, which number we choose to move first. In this case we must move the bottom number first. We're not allowed to uh, move that minus 2 un until we uh, kind of release it by getting rid of the, the 5 on the bottom. That long fraction line stops us from moving that minus 2 first, which we would otherwise do. So. That's the key difference here. What's the opposite of a divide by 5? Because the bottom of a fraction we think is uh, dividing into the top. So what's the opposite of a divided by 5? It's a multiply by 5. So we're going to multiply by 5 on both sides of our equation. On the left hand side when we have a divided by 5 and a multiply by 5 they'll cancel each other out nicely and in this case we're left with the k minus 2 totally on its own. On the right hand side when we multiply by 5 we just do that calculation 4 times 5 is 20. Now that leaves us with a very simple one step equation to uh, finish off with or one step uh, to the end so uh, what we ask ourselves which number do we have to move next it's pretty obvious that if we want the letter to be on its own we'll move that minus 2 next. What's the opposite of a minus 2? It's a plus 2. We'll do that to both sides of the equation. And on the left hand side the minus 2 and the plus 2 will cancel each other out. That leaves our letter K on its own. On the right hand side 20 plus 2 is 22. So in this variation the key thing is we choose to move the bottom number first because the bottom number is considered to be affecting that whole top. And uh, so that's the key difference. We move the, uh, the bottom number first when we have a long fraction line. Second variation is when there's some brackets involved in the very start of the, uh, the question. We've got 5 outside of m plus 10. And uh, the way we operate there is we expand the brackets first and then the uh, question will look extremely familiar to us. So we extend, expand the bracket first and uh, then head on with the normal solution. When we expand brackets we multiply the front number by the first term in the brackets. 5 lots of m is 5m. Then we must uh, multiply the front number by the second term in the brackets. 5 lots of 10 is 50. And so when we get to this point here we've really just got a normal everyday two-step equation just like in the last video in the in the video 2 that we had. So uh, then it's pretty much a, it was a solved normally situation. So a good first move of expanding the brackets gets us into our comfort zone again. We ask ourselves uh, what number should we move first. Now remember in two-step equations we want to move uh, plus or minus numbers before we move uh, multiplication numbers. So we'll uh, move the plus 50 first. How do we uh, move a plus 50? We, by doing the opposite to both sides. So we're going to minus 50 both sides. On the left hand side the plus 50 and the minus 50 will cancel each other out leaving us with the 5m term on its own on the left hand side and on the right hand side 80 minus 50 is 30. So it's just a two step equation situation here. The uh, next number, the only number annoying the m at the moment is a 5 so we're going to have to move that. The 5 is multiplying by the m at the moment so what's the opposite of that? Divide by 5. We'll look to do that on both sides of the uh, equation. On the left hand side once again a 5 that's multiplying and a 5 that's dividing can cancel each other out leaving us with what we want, the letter on its own on the left hand side. 30 divided by 5 on the right hand side equals 6. So there's two variations there, one with a long fraction line and one with a set of brackets. In both cases if we just uh, 
slow down and think about one good first move, then the questions uh, tend to be pretty similar by line two. Just to recap, we have a long fraction line in one of the questions. When we have that, we'll look to move the bottom number first. And if there's any brackets, we'll look to expand the brackets first before we do anything else. Okay, there's our two variations that uh, we need to be aware of in case we see them in, uh, in tests or assessments that we see coming up. Hope that helps and uh, watch the videos as many times as you like until uh, you get the hang of them. See you next time.